how to set up consent mode version 2 for WordPress for free. Google has many partners that you can use to comply with consent mode version 2 if you're using WordPress. Because some of these partners have created plugins. Small business websites can use them and they actually have free versions as well, okay? But in this video session, we're going to look at Presidium Cookie Consent Plugin. And I'll show you basic customization options. Because this plugin allows you to comply with Consent Mode version 2 as well. Basically, this plugin is in what you need to do to comply with Consent Mode version 2 is inform your website visitors as to the cookies that are being set if you're using Google products, whether it is Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Google Ads, and so on, okay? Because to use Google products, that is the terms and conditions, as in, informing website visitors about the cookies that's being used. So let's go and dive right into it. Let's imagine you have installed Presidium Cookie Consent plugin. Then you can customize the plugin. Let's say you want to use a different color theme or set individual colors. You can do that. Here, to comply with Consent Mode version 2, for Google products, you have to have page scripts toggled, as in have this checked. Then, page scripts work with blocked scripts. Let's imagine you're using Google Tag Manager. You can then provide that as script source. Or different ones. Because then this plugin blocks the cookie being set unless your visitor accepts your cookie policy. For this plugin to be compliant with Consent Mode version 2, you have to have page scripts enabled and you need to provide the script URL. Here we have Consent Mode. You have to have Google Consent Mode version 2 toggled, as in checked. You can always learn more about Consent Mode. Here I'm using Google Analytics and Google Ads tag that is somewhere on my website. That means however you are installing Google Tags, you need to modify that particular tag. I'll show you my local copy. I'm using footer.php to insert Google Tag Manager code, as in G tag. Also, here's a tip. If you're using Google Analytics with Google Ads, you don't have to call two different scripts. You can just call one and then use that tag for both Google Ads and Google Analytics. Presidium Cookie Consent plugin tells us to add this here to the script tag itself. Just type text forward slash plain space data co cookie category in my example targeting. Because what will happen is when someone rejects the cookie setting then this plugin will actually delete the cookie that they have agreed to before, if that makes sense, okay? But let's imagine you're using Google Tag Manager. Then you can select that because the plugin developers have created a template for you. It's a custom template. You can download it, navigate to Google Tag Manager, Select the workspace. Let's say, let's imagine this scenario. 
that's the workspace you got the templates add new and simply import the template that this plugin has created for you okay so you can download the template and upload that to Google Tag Manager and simply follow the prompts here it is a straightforward process to set up consent mode version 2 using this plugin if you're using Google Tag Manager as well okay so I'm using the typical gtag.js here we have ads data redaction and URL bypassing if you're advertising with Google Ads then you need to read a little bit more about it because I can't tell you to enable or disable these these are related to Google Ads as well or any Google tag really in my scenario I don't use them so that's okay we can select different regions if we want because WordPress is used globally so if you're located in US perhaps you can select that as a region as in if your business is primarily based in US and you do not serve customers elsewhere then you can select the region accordingly okay this plugin allows you to keep records which is great you can always export your settings as well as export the consent records as well this is actually required for European country data regulations to be compliant with consent mode version 2 for EU countries we need to have this and this plugin actually has that for you automatically without cluttering your database you can always modify the layout and so on and you can preview the settings here I'll show you a method to see the tags on your website let's look at our website press on F12 on our keyboard bring out web developer toolbar here we have application under storage you can see the cookies being set now, as you can see right now there is none but if I press accept all now you can see that's the consent mode version 2 as in we cannot send signals to Google unless we inform the website visitor and get their consent we need to provide the details of the cookies that's being used the name of the cookie how long it's set for and briefly describe what that cookie is doing before I close up with Google Analytics for your web stream to use Google Analytics you're actually agreeing to the terms and conditions for Google Tag Manager you can go to admin go to container settings here you have enable consent overview still in better stage for Google Ads under your account admin account settings for European country serving you have data protection contacts to use Google Ads in European countries you need to provide your contact details because that is the terms then once you set up the plugin simply have the page scripts insert the script URL whatever the script that you're using enable consent mode version 2 whether it's gtag or google tag manager then i'll show you a tag assistance 
you can visit tagassistant.google.com and here you will see because I've actually disabled it ideally you need to ensure the tag that you've set up is consent mode version 2 state ready that means on page default when you're using tag assistance you're connecting your website to tag assistance to debug then you can press on consent and here on page default it should be denied then when the page updates as in someone grants agreement as in consent then only then can you send data to Google servers okay so that is how you set up consent mode version 2 for WordPress for free using this particular plugin I thank you for learning with Rankia and some of the things that I've shown may seem a bit complex for some WordPress site owners if that's the case visit Rankia website and use the commenting section to ask your questions okay in either case consent mode version 2 is very important new terms of using Google products because privacy is becoming even more important and Google is taking the lead to ensuring that all websites using Google products inform their website visitors and have a clearly defined privacy policy statement if you do not have a privacy statement for your WordPress site simply visit rank a website because you can use this as a template as well and remove some things and modify it according to your website okay